mythical or hyperbolic cancer? Why does it frighten us with its name as if thereby the unnameable were designated? It claims to defeat the coded system under whose auspices, living and accepting to live, we abide in the security of a purely formal existence, obeying a model signal according to a program whose process is apparently perfectly normative. Cancer would seem to symbolize and realize the refusal to respond. Here is a cell that doesn't hear the command, that develops lawlessly in a way that could be called anarchic. It does still more. It destroys the very idea of a program, blurring the exchange and the message. It wrecks the possibility of reducing everything to the equivalent of signs. Cancer, from this perspective, is a political phenomenon, one of the rare ways to dislocate the system, to disarticulate, through proliferation and disorder, the universal programming and signifying power. This task was accomplished in other times by leprosy, then by the plague. Something we cannot understand maliciously neutralizes the authority of a master knowledge. It is thus not simply as death at work that cancer seems so singular a menace. It is as a mortal derangement, a derangement more threatening than the fact of dying, and which gives the fact back its essential trait, its way of not letting itself be accounted for or brought to account, any more than suicide, which disappears from the statistics that are supposed to keep count of it.